Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. So in today's video, we are going to create this smiling animation. Now at first, this might look very simple, but trust me, there are a few tips that you can use to create some really amazing animations like this. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as always we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main and with and height you can go with 800 by 819, 20 by 1080, whatever you want, it does not matter. So let's set this to something like 3 seconds and frame rate we can go with 24 and all the things will remain just like that. Now let's create our solid, so you can right click, go to new, solid and let's call this bg for background and make sure the width and height match your composition so we are going to use this deep color deep blue color so it's totally up to you you can use whatever you want just click on ok so now we have our background and we are going to create a smiley first so i'm going to select the ellipse tool and after that you can just simply click and hold down the shift to create a perfect circle something like this and in case your anchor point is not in the center then you can select the layer hold down the control key and simply double click on this icon and it will make it in the center so we're going to select this layer and we don't need the fill so we can probably click over here and just set this to none let me just quickly create some stroke so i'm going to set this to 21 and now let's go under the ellipse and we are going to add a property called trim path so let me just quickly go ahead and now i've already worked up with these values so i'm going to quickly set them up so 52 for the start 80 for the end and the offset will be negative 58 so there you go now we have our smile and we can probably select this and if you go under the stroke you can see that from here we can change this to rounded cap so now we have this really nice rounded corners and we can probably select this press s and i'm going to quickly change the shape to something like this so yeah i think this is looking nice now i'm going to create the eyes but for the eyes i'm not going to use the ellipse tool instead i'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool so just simply select that and i'm going to quickly create a shape just like this and we probably don't need its stroke we only need the fill so let's set this to white and just click over here now later i'll show you why i use this rounded rectangle instead of ellipse so once we have our shape we are probably going to go under the rectangle settings and if yours does not look round then you can go over here and you can probably increase this value and let's set this to 20 already and i'm going to quickly align it into the center of this comb just like that and now i'm going to do the same thing with this one as well so if you're not able to see this align panel then go to windows and from here you can enable it now we are probably going to select this and press ctrl d to duplicate this because we have two eyes and now let me just quickly align them and just make it look like a face so we are going to enable the title action and after that i'm going to use the arrow keys and while holding the shift i can just simply move it now it's completely up to you you can move them wherever you want so yeah, i think this is looking fine uh, or we can probably select them and press set search for size so now let's change the size to something like 35 and this one to 35 as well so we can probably select all of these layers and just simply move them a little bit above just like that so now we are done with the final smiley and our next step is to animate this so first i'm going to select all the layers then press p to add a keyframe for position r for rotation and s for scale then you can press u and we're going to move them to something over here at two seconds and now we are going to start animating these so first i want these 
to be at the center of the comp just like this and now let's select both of these and i'm going to quickly scale this up something like this and we can probably move them somewhere around here as well okay so this is looking fine now i'm going to select my shape layer then i'm going to simply rotate this to negative to 180 degree just like this so here you can see that we have this wi-fi kind of signal and we can probably select these and just move them to our signal just like that so now we have this and we are going to turn it into a smiley something like this so if you want your smiley to come from the other side you can probably set this to negative 180 and now it will come from the other side so we are pretty much done with our base animation and now let's refine it so first we want everything to disappear from the screen so in order to do that we are probably going to move this further ahead and let's set the scale to zero and zero here as well now we are going to select this and let's quickly go under the trim path properties and i'm going to animate the start and end let's move the keyframe over here and let's set this to zero or maybe not zero and let's just decrease the values so i think 66 works for this one and 66 works for this one as well so now we have this sort of animation yeah i think this is looking fine and we can probably select this and just simply move the rotation keyframe so you can see that our shape appears and we can probably select these and press f9 to add some easing after that you can select all of these and then just simply go under the graph and change the graph to look something like this now if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph now we can probably select the keyframes and move them a little bit further apart just like that so yeah, i think this is looking much better now let's start animating this now i don't want my smiley to just simply rotate i want to add a little bit of life to it so we can probably select this and press r and let's focus on the rotation itself so let's add a keyframe and after a couple of seconds i'm going to move it into the opposite direction so it will look like that our smiley stores some energy and after that i'm going to quickly shoot this value and just simply change this to something like this so we can probably delete this keyframe just like that now let me just quickly move this closer and we can probably select these keyframes press f9 now let's select this one and i'm going to change the curve to look something like this and let's change this to look something like this as well so yeah i think this is looking fine let's move them closer so the animation is faster so yeah, i think this is looking much better now let's quickly animate our eyes as well so as you can see that it already starts animating and we don't want that so i'm going to select these keyframes press ctrl c and let's press ctrl v again ctrl c ctrl v so we don't want our eyes to split till now and after that we can just simply select these keyframes and let's move it over here so we are not going to use the rotation so we can just simply uncheck this and let's focus on these keyframes now let me just quickly select these press f9 and we can do the same thing with these ones as well so now let's select this and let's tweak the graph now select the endpoints and let's change the graph shape to something like this so yeah let's go with this so now our last step is to just add some blinking to the eyes now i'm going to select this eye the left one 
you can blink both the eyes or you can blink the right one so i'm going to animate this using the size parameter over here so i'm going to first uncheck this and now i can press u and now let's animate the eye animation so remember i said that you have to use the rounded rectangle instead of the ellipse and reason for that was if i animate this you can see that now we have this really nice shape in case we had used this ellipse then now if i select this and just change its size now you can see that we have this sort of look which is not looking right and i think this eye animation will look much better so we are using this one so first we want this to be at 35 and let's move a couple of frames ahead and after that i'm going to just simply squash it a little and let's move a couple frames ahead and i'm going to squash it a little bit more now as our eye is blinking i also want it to expand horizontally so i'm going to quickly increase this little bit and over here i'm going to change this something like this now we can probably select the last keyframe and press ctrl c ctrl v to paste it so now if i play back here you can see that we have this sort of animation and we can probably select the middle keyframes press f9 to easy ease them so there you go now we have this sort of animation we can probably select all the keyframes then hold down the alt or option key on mac and you can move the keyframes closer just like this so we have this sort of animation and i think the blinking is looking fine so it's completely up to you you can play around with these position however you want so now you can see that we have a different animation you can probably set these to easy easy as well so if you want to go with this look it's completely up to you we can probably do one more thing we can just move it over here just copy this and paste it over here and let's keep them linear so now you can see that it will have this shape for a little longer and after that it goes back to normal so yeah, i think this animation is looking fine and now let's tweak this more and make this even better so first i'm going to select both of these layers and i'm going to apply an effect called echo so just simply search for echo and you will see that this effect will really enhance our animation so i'm going to quickly change the parameters so let me just quickly go ahead so here you can see that echo in action so if i increase the number of copies you can see that we are adding some really nice trails to our eyes and i'm going to probably set this to three and we are going to change the echo time and let's make it really small so i'm going to just add 0 0.0 to this so now it's 0 0.003 we can probably change this and let's make it 10 something like this so now you can select the echo and just copy it and paste it on the second layer as well so now you can see that our eyes look more natural and you can see that they have these really nice distortions so if i remove this you can see that it adds a little bit of weight to it so right over here if your eye animation looks different because of the echo then you can just simply select the layer press u and you can just simply trim the layer from here by pressing ctrl shift d and from here you can delete the echo only if your eyes look messy so mines are looking good so i'm going to leave it just like that now our last step is to add some rotation over here to the eyes as well so we are probably going to go over here and after that i'm going to select both of these press ctrl shift t to split the layer and we can probably press u and select this one press u here as well so now let's select both of these layers and i'm going to parent it to the sh smiley shape layer so now if i play back here you can see that now we have this sort of animation now it's completely up to you if you want to go with this look but i don't want my eyes to change so i'm going to probably select this and let's go to place where we have the 
normal eye and I'm going to select these then press ctrl shift D and it will split the layer now we can probably select these layers and just remove their parenting and set this to none so there you go now we have this sort of eye animation now let's select everything by pressing ctrl A then press U to hide all the layers and if you want you can just simply add a null just right click add a null object and after that I'm going to quickly animate its position so let's add a smiley over here and we are going to select these layers except these two we are going to select all the layers because these are already parented to this shape layer and it will be parented to the null so now I'm going to animate its position so let me just quickly move it somewhere around here and we can just probably change it to something like this so now you can select the keyframes press f9 and you can change the curves to look something like this let's make it faster and let me just quickly decrease the distance so i think this is looking fine also if you want you can probably select this and just scale it up if it's too small so now we have this much bigger animation and at the end you can do one last thing you can select all the layers then enable motion blur also enable the motion blur for the composition as well so now you can play back and you can see that now we have this really nice motion blur to our layers so this is how you can create these type of animations so i hope you learned something from this video and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below if you want to learn more things like these then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one